here. Yeah. Let's get that. Golly. Make sure you don't put so much water. Because leave the smeary mark. That doesn't look so good. It just looks smudgy. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. As soon as you're cleaning it, somebody comes along and touches it. No excuses. No excuses. You can get this. I'm slow, and I think I'm, I'm not very good because I keep missing spots, and she keeps coming in after me, so I feel a little embarrassed. She was faster than me and better. You know, she obviously cares a lot, which, you know, that, that kind of picks up my performance and makes me want to do better. So you do this, and you, uh, you work the touch accounting. pool. Yep, I work in accounting and finance department. I also do events, hosting, also the touch shark tank where you saw me. Wow. Yeah. You're busy. I do pretty much a little bit of everything here. So, Mercedes, how long have you been here? It'll be two years in January. Oh, wow. Yes, I've been here for two years, and it went by so fast. Just jump right on in. So tell me more about what you were saying. Two years ago, before I got this job, right before I got it, me and my son were homeless. You are kidding me. And my son was about one years old. Oh, we were staying in his school. It was a private daycare, and we were sleeping on the floor. And it wasn't because of my resume or work ethic. Nobody would hire me. It was just really hard times. And the only thing that kept me going was my son running up to me and smiling. Like, he never knew, you know, we were homeless or we were going through hard times. Kids don't know that stuff. They just are kids. You know, they're innocent. And I finally got the job here. This place was like a lifesaver for me, so. Wow. Ever since then, I've just been saying yes to everything and accepting every opportunity this place has to offer. Whether it's cleaning, whether it's following, whether it's greeting a guest or hosting a party. Wow. That's really impressive. I think the more you know, the better. Yeah. The pay comes later, you know? Yeah. It's really humbling to see what she's been through. The attitude to just do it all on your own like she did. It's just it's so amazing to me in this experience. You know, you just see so much pain. And you just think, why? You know, why does it have to be like this? And, you know, you want to help, but you can't always help everybody. It's just, man, what an amazing person. Mercedes, you're just an incredible worker. The more you know, the better. Yeah. The pay comes later, you know? Yeah. Even though you have every reason to have a very different attitude, there's a couple things I want to do. The first thing we want to do is give you an immediate raise. Oh, so God. That, um, because... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't believe this is happening. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> in, in honor of you making that huge move from being homeless into a new apartment, we're going to come in with you to your apartment, and we're going to inventory with you everything that you need. And, and you just tell us what you need, and then we're going to take care of that. I hope you're with us for a long time. Who knows, maybe we can see you get into your own home. Wow, that would be great. I want to see you achieve your dreams, OK? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Like, this is amazing.